Hello everybody, Marshmallow Fanboy here, talking loud because the TV's on in the other room, and I have to. So today, I'm going to be reviewing three of the figures from, three of the alternate figures from the uh, Batman Beyond collection. Now these were, at least uh, these two, Blight and Batwoman, started their lives as Target exclusives. And uh, Batman Beyond did too, though. There was a version of him that was not exclusive to Target and didn't have the Build-A-Figure. So I think he's a, he's, he could be repaint of the Target exclusive or repaint of that one. I'm not sure. He has the... I know there was a difference in the mask. Like, one of them didn't have a face, and this one has a face. I think he's a reprint... A repaint, excuse me, of the non-exclusive version. I think that non-exclusive version had the real had the real face molded on it to look more like the animated series version and not the comic book version. I hope I got that right. I didn't look any of that up. <laughs> as far as differences, this is Ink as Batman Beyond. I don't know too much about the cartoon, but apparently Ink is one of his villains, maybe a shapeshifter. And she takes the form of Batman at some point. She or he, I'm not not really sure. Uh, Batwoman Unmasked is fairly straightforward. It's Batwoman with a different head. But it looks good. I don't know about the source material. So I'm going to have to rely on Todd's amazing likenesses to, to sort, of, uh, sort of be the answer to that one. Blight, there's hardly any any difference to the regular Blight and this Blight, except for these power things. And on the on the side it says a uh, Batman Beyond Atomic Edition. So I think he's just he's just super powered here, and that's the only difference. So on uh, Batman Beyond, it's just a different paint job, and you can see in the inside. The battering is dripping with the with the blue stuff, so there's a little bit of extra, little bit of extra flare to it. If you get in close, you can see that the the uniform is in black. That there's a little bit of kind of purplish blue kind of running through it, a little tint of it. So it looks a little ethereal, and he's got the face, the face on. So definitely the cartoon version. Let's see on the back, get a cool portrait of uh ink as batman beyond you can see the wings have have the flex of the blue that's gonna look good open batwoman unmasked let's take a look at the back and yeah that looks good too nice classic rooftop uh what is she holding see a battering in one hand and something in the other uh let's see she has a battering then that maybe that's just a curled in fist. I think that's just a curled up fist. Very cool. And blight. Blight should be pretty much the same as the, the first one. He's probably got the same portrait because he's not using the the atomic energy on his fists. So that was probably recycled from the first version of Blight. Which is which is too bad. It would have been cool to have maybe the the energy blasts on here. And maybe him in a green light, as though being lit by the energy. So that's the that's the three of those. So let's uh let's take them out and let's see what they've got. Okay, now that they're out of the package, let's take a closer look at this Batman Beyond set from McFarland Toys, and let's start with Blight. He was the one I was at first most sort of disenchanted with. I, I wanted him because he looked really cool and I really liked the first release. I don't know if it's worth it to have the extra fists and I didn't look up what the differences were. Still love the skull inside that mask. It just looks really amazing. I can barely see it, but it is there. It had this little uh, plastic thing in the package that separated the peg from the head. I put the head in. I didn't think to, to show it to you guys, but 
but the head is in there real well. And the head has some movement and has kind of a, well, it has a, it can look left or right anyway. When it was loose on, on that thing, it, it kind of moved side to side, but this is tight. But it looks really good. The, the, the energy effects look cool. They match the head, which is a bonus. The arms bend about that much. The arms come out to about here. So it gets a lot of range of motion. Gets, uh, of course, all the way around. It has a little mid mid torso bend. So, like so. Uh, he can bend backwards, but forward is a problem. He has a little, little thing that hangs down here that kind of prevents him from going forward. Legs go up and see the knees i'm not bending them all the way so let me see if i can bend them all the way and i think that's that's all the way bent so you can see this strap sort of matching the back of his back of his thigh there um it's got these clear plastic green things which are very cool i was hoping that he lit up I was I was pretty excited when I saw that the head was separated from the peg. I thought maybe it was because it lit up or something and it needed some extra protection. But it does not. Let's see the ankles forward and backwards, side to side, and a toe bend. Or toe hinge rather. And that is blight. Blight looks cool. Blight is a Gosh, I don't know if he's a winner. I can't remember much about the first the first version. I think it's the same as this version except for the fists. And I might have that completely wrong. Could be he came with other things. He's a cool figure either way. I like him. So let's see. Ink as Batman Beyond and Batwoman Unmasked. Now... Right off the bat, I have a sort of a gripe. Yeah, it's a gripe. Batman Beyond, Ink as Batman Beyond, rather, has the flight stand, but he doesn't have the thrusters. And Batwoman Unmasked has the thrusters and no flight stand. And you can you can trade them out. You can put the the boot thrusters on Batman Beyond if you want to. And they look great. Yeah, just like that. And you can put the flight stand on Batwoman and she will look awesome as well. So since Batwoman is down there, let's start with Batman Beyond. If I can get him off the flight stand. The flight stand I like. It's just a really nice touch. It's it's a it's a solid piece. It's real dependable. It has a peg if you want to stand them up and just take this take slide this off. Has the the gripper. You can can um I don't think you can do much with it. Oh, there we go. You can kind of bend it up and down if you want him him or her flying. So that's very cool. Batman Beyond, or Ink, as Batman Beyond comes with an extra pair of hands. I already switched one of them out to grip the Batarang. And I'm going to try to get this a little bit closer. You see all the blue on him. All the kind of blue flecks in the, in the abs. And uh, through the legs. I think the light is bringing out the sheen on, on everything. Really nice. So you see that there's obvious paint apps that are just really nice. And I, we haven't seen these, I don't think, on a McFarlane figure before. This kind of, it's kind of marbling. It's really cool. So just like the regular Batman Beyond, the wings move completely. Of course, it has little holes in there, so you could put the, put the gauntlet uh, blades through the, through the holes if you want to. Also, the Batarang that he dropped has the... It's kind of the blue ink dripping from it. So we'll put this together over on that side. Let's see, arms come out to 
see, without the wings in the way, they come out to about there. Oh, look, he's like dancing. Hey, you know, that was weird. Sorry about that. He's got, wow. His, uh, his arms bend farther than mine do. That's, uh, that's weird. The wings are always a little bit difficult at first to manipulate on these, but there we go. He's got the, the ab thing here where, oh, he can kind of look down or up or twist at the torso. The head is very expressive, side to side, up and down. And the legs, see forward and backwards, oh, out to the side. And see double hinge so he can kick his own butt. See the hinge up and down. It's a ball joint. It goes over like this. And then the toe hinge. Very nice. Batman Beyond is very cool. And ink as Batman Beyond. Like I said, I don't have any experience with ink. Uh, I don't know that I've seen the cartoon that has ink in it. So that is my bad. Let's see, Batwoman Unmasked, who's already fallen over. See, very cool unmasked likeness. I can't tell you how much um, it looks like the character that it's based on, but my guess is that it is great. That's, that's just the, you know, McFarlane is known for likenesses generally. Let's see. So, it's got the torso that bends. The tip of the, the bat symbol is below, and it's attached to the top of it. So, it slides along the, the bottom, and it doesn't separate. And that's really nice. It's not just painted on. It's molded on. Let's see. Double, double hinge elbows, so she can put her put her dukes up. Her arms move out to there, and then the little gauntlet here or the uh, shoulder pad sort of keeps it from from uh, rotating all the way back. But as a human being, you can only go so far back anyway. Uh, her leg moves out to here on the hinge. She is. Double jointed at the knee, so lots of bend there. Uh, the foot rotates, and it well, I, that's the toe hinge, and then it, of course the the foot goes up and down. And the head, the head turns. She gets a little tilt. You're not going to get a lot out of her, but oh, she looks all the way down. Look at that. So if she's flying. She can look at you while pelting you with batarangs. Battering, battering, battering. Like that. Yeah, so very cool. That is my review of the Batman Beyond set from McFarlane Toys. These are these are all alternates. The only figures that you need if you have all of these is maybe Batman Beyond. And other than that, I think she looks great without the mask. I don't know if you need it. If you do, you might try eBay and just get the just get the head sculpt and then you're all set. Uh, Blight. I don't know if the first one came with anything different. My feeling is that it's it's more complete with the atomic energy than it was with the with the regular. But uh, your your experience might be. A little bit different but this is these are good additions to the collection i like them very much see you next time